Ships rely on the various navigational instruments to determine their position and the direction that they are headed. One such instrument is the compass, which, described in the simplest way possible, is used to indicate direction. Modern ships are equipped with a gyro compass, which accurately and almost instantly determines the ship's heading. And over the years, it has evolved into a very intricate piece of equipment. Our ship was scheduled to go on drifting while waiting for our transit schedule when an alarm suddenly appeared on the gyro compass panel. After several attempts to reset the alarm, the error persisted, so we decided to arrange for technicians to come on board. Luckily for us, we were near a place where they were available, so it only took them a short while before they arrive. A gyro compass is a navigational instrument which makes use of a continuously driven gyroscope. It operates by means of a fast spinning rotor, which is suspended with no friction and is influenced by gravity and the Earth's rotation. Unlike a magnetic compass, which points to the magnetic north, the gyro compass will accurately find the direction of true or geographic north, which will consequently indicate a ship's heading. It is unaffected by magnetic interferences such as those caused by wirings and steel structures, which is why they are used as the primary compass of modern ships, as opposed to the magnetic compass, which is still used on ships these days, but only as a backup. So today we have technicians on board to repair our gyro compass. This equipment is one of the few which are beyond the scope of our responsibilities, I mean the ship's crew, to repair. It's a highly specialized piece of equipment, which is why we need technicians, specialists, to repair it for us. So it's a good opportunity for us to see what's inside these equipment, how it works, the principle of operation, so, let's check it out. They went into action almost immediately and started the troubleshooting process. The key element of the gyro compass is the gyrosphere, inside of which are the rotating gyros and its motors, which are suspended in a conductive liquid consisting of water, glycerol, alcohol, and boric acid. It is encased in this way so as to provide a liquid damping system which virtually eliminates latitude error for increased reliability. Do you want to see what's inside a gyroscope? I'm sure you do. But before we do that, let me tell you something about our sponsor. Do you want to start trading but find yourself confused and afraid to lose money because you have no experience? Well, the FBS Copy Trade app lets you follow the strategies of the top market performers and copy them to earn money effortlessly. The app was designed to help people who don't have specific financial knowledge to easily enter the market and become investors. As soon as you have funds in your account, all you have to do is browse a list of traders, select the one you want to copy, enter the amount you want to invest, and then start copying and earning profit. Once you're confident enough, other investors can also get the chance to copy your orders and you will get a commission from their trades. So click the link in the description and download the FBS Copy Trade app to invest easily in your success. Now let's take a look at what's inside a gyrosphere. This gyrosphere model is of a different brand from our ships, but the principle of operation is basically the same.
As you can see, the gyrosphere container is built with electronic components. The technicians have determined that one of these components is faulty and not conducting electricity to the internal components within the gyrosphere. Instead of trying to repair it on site, which would take a lot of time and risk future malfunctions, they simply replace the container with a spare which they have brought with them. They actually brought a whole replacement gyro compass unit in case the damage to our system was severe. But luckily, they only needed to replace the container. After assembly, it was time to test. And after confirming that the gyrosphere is functioning, they install it back to our gyro compass unit. After overhauls like this, it would take around 5 hours for the gyros to settle and be ready for use. As soon as everything has settled, the ship was able to resume navigation, confident in the fact that it is headed in the right direction.